guys, it's me, Miss Ashley. Welcome back to my Storytelling Tent. I hope everybody had a good weekend um, and got to soak in at least just a little bit of sunshine and is having a good week so far. How about we get started with our opening song, our welcome song, Hello Friends, right? We're going to sing and we're going to do American Sign Language signs at the same time. And it goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's do it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hey, guys. Welcome back. For our first activity today, I want to teach you guys a song called um, Cool Cat. And it's important for me first and for you guys at home to think of somebody you know who's a real cool cat. And the first person that comes to mind for me is uh, the fabulous Miss Jenny, who I know that you guys all know and love. So this one goes out to you, Miss Jenny. And first we're going to practice a little bit of the actions. Can you guys roll your uh, fists like this? Very good. And also, we're going to stick our little fingers in the air. We're going to say, Ooh, speaking of cool cats, I'll get to you later, Daisy. <laughs> now that we've gone through the actions a little bit, let's go ahead and do this song a couple times through. And I'm going to choose a different library friend each time. And I'm sure you're going to catch on just fine. It goes like this. Hey there, Jenny, you're a real cool cat. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. So come on in and get down. To the left. To the right. Up in the air. And get down. You know who else is a real cool cat? Miss Donna, the children's librarian from the Buena Vista branch. So let's put her name in this time. You ready? Hey there, Donna, you're a real cool cat. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. So come on in and get down. To the left. To the right. Up in the air and get down. We're going to try it next with this cool kitty. Her name is Lulu. So you can say Lulu if you want for this last verse. You ready? You ready, Lulu? <laughs> hey there, Lulu, you're a real cool cat. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. So come on in and get down to the left, to the right, up in the air and get down. Yay, he's a good kitty. You're a good kitty <laughs> and a cool kitty. I forgot to mention that this song is great for kids of all ages. Um, if you're a little bit older, toddler, preschooler, it's great to have them standing up so they can go all the way up and crouch all the way down. And then also it's good for babies. And if you're holding the baby, you can, you know, lift the baby up and you can move their little arms or legs gently to the left and to the right. And so it's good for the whole family. Next, I'd like to play a little felt activity with you. It involves colors and guessing, um, and it's called Spaceship Spaceship. And the thing is, is that I have all of these colorful moons here. Can you help me identify the colors? Let's start with this one right here, all together. This moon is blue, white, red, yellow, pink, orange, and last one, gray. Very good. Now that we've identified all the colors of the moons on my felt board, I'm going to show you 
this nifty little spaceship. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spaceship and I'm going to hide it behind one of these colorful moons here. And then normally in story time, I would ask you to guess which moon it's behind, which color moon it's behind. But since I can't hear you today, I still encourage you to guess, but I'm going to ask my trusty uh, story time tent friends here for their guesses and we'll see if they can guess it correctly. Are you ready to play? Okay. Which one of our story time friends is gonna guess first? All right, contestant number one is Peter from Snowy Day. Peter, what moon do you think the spaceship is hiding behind? Which color? Hmm, how about red? Okay, let's see if Peter from Snowy Day is correct and it's the red moon, but we have to say the rhyme all together and it goes like this. Spaceship, spaceship, we'll find you soon. Are you behind the red moon? And let's guess, let's see. No, Peter, I'm sorry. It's not behind the red moon. Who should we ask next? Contestant number two is going to be... <gasps> Cookie Monster! Cookie Monster, tell us. Which color moon do you think the spaceship is hiding behind? Um, um, cookie? <laughs> There's no cookie moon. Can you try guessing a color? Me like pink. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pink it is. Okay, Cookie Monster guessed the pink moon. So let's say our rhyme again all together. Spaceship, spaceship, we'll find you soon. Are you behind the pink moon? Let's see if Cookie Monster is right. Oh, no! There's no spaceship behind the pink moon. All right, who should we ask next? Next up, contestant number three is... <gasps> dinosaur! Hey, dinosaur, which moon do you think the spaceship is hiding behind? Um, how about blue? Okay, let's see if you're right. All right, dinosaur asked to check behind the blue moon, so let's give it a shot. Spaceship, spaceship, we'll find you soon. Are you behind the blue moon? <gasps> Let's see. One, two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not there. All right, who's going to be next? Is it going to be Hops? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, no, you don't want to guess? No, thanks. That's okay. How about you, Mr. Fox? What do you say? I really like orange. Okay, it's one of my favorite colors too, so let's guess. All right, let's see if Mr. Fox is correct. And let's see if the spaceship is behind the orange moon, okay? Spaceship, spaceship, we'll find you soon. Are you behind the orange moon? Oh, oh no, bummer, Mr. Fox. I'm sorry, it is not behind the orange moon. So far, we've asked Peter and Cookie Monster, Dino and Mr. Fox to guess, but they haven't guessed the correct colors. Who should we ask next? How about Froggy? Hey, Froggy, would you like to guess? I'll take gray for the win, please, Miss Ashley. Okay, we'll try gray. All right, let's see if Froggy's correct and it's behind the gray moon, all right? All together. Spaceship, spaceship, we'll find you soon. Are you behind the Gray moon? Oh, oh my goodness! How did you know, Mr. Frog? Froggy guessed gray, and here it is. He was correct. For our last story time activity today, I was hoping you all would join me in singing a song that I'm pretty sure you already know called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. And the reason why I wanted to bring it up today is that um, I think it's a lovely song. And it's also, in particular, it's good for babies and a little bit older. Uh, if you have a preschooler or a toddler, it's good to get the wiggles out um, and to just sort of reinforce you know, vocabulary of different body parts, even if they're a little bit older and may already know them. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that it's a really simple song that is easy to translate into the language of your choice. So maybe you want to do it in English, or maybe English isn't your first language. Well, the good thing is, is you can easily adapt this and sing it in any language you like. So let's try doing it in English, and then I'm going to try my hand at singing it in Spanish and also in French.
Let's start. On the count of three. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now, I hope you'll practice with me all these different body parts, but in Spanish, okay? So we have head is cabeza. Shoulders are hombros, knees, rodillas, and toes. Instead of toes, we're going to say pies, which is feet, okay? Then we have ojos, orejas, boca, y nariz. And I hope I haven't murdered the pronunciation there, but, you know, hopefully you'll forgive me. And it goes like this. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Now we're gonna try it in French. And everything's the same, except in the French version, they move the order of the body parts around just a little bit. But still, it's pretty familiar and it's pretty easy to learn. So first, the word for head is tête. Can you say that? Tête. Shoulders are épaule. Can you try that? Épaule. Knees are genou. And feet are pied. So not too different from Spanish. And then what they do is they do it in a little bit of different order when we're touching the parts of our face. So you say, j'ai un nez. Nez is the word for nose. Deux yeux. Deux is the word for two. Yeux are eyes. Deux oreilles. Deux oreilles. Oreille is the word for ears. Une bouche is the word for mouth or lips and with j'ai un de deux yeux deux oreilles et une bouche so that was it and then you're just going to go back through and do tête épaule genou et pied all right let's try it let's see if i can get through it without messing up <laughs> tête épaule genou et pied genou et pied tête épaule genou et pied genou et pied j'ai un de Deux yeux, deux oreilles et une bouche. Tête, épaule, genou et pied, genou et pied. Yay! We did it! We sang Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes today in English, in Spanish, and in French. And you know what? I'm always looking to learn uh, these songs and new songs, songs I've never heard of before in other languages. So I know that Burbank is very diverse in our community. I hear languages, different languages all the time. I hear Armenian, I hear Mandarin, I hear Russian on occasion. So if there's ever any um, songs that you would like to share with us in a different language that maybe we haven't sung in before, please let us know. And the last thing that I wanted to leave you with today isn't so much an early literacy tip, although it does involve um, promoting literacy, is to let you know that we are very excited to be starting a totally different um, summer reading program this year. Okay, there's going to be more information about this on uh, our website and in flyers and on Instagram and Facebook. But just to give you a little heads up, I wanted to tell you that this year the program starts beginning of June. So June 1st and goes all the way through the very last day of July. And it's open to all ages, okay, babies through seniors. And the rules are the same for everybody. The only rule there is is that you have to read just a little bit every day. It does not matter how much you read. It does not matter how long you read. And it even doesn't matter what you read, okay? You can read aloud together and it counts for everybody. You can read on your own. You can read chapter books, graphic novels. You can listen to an audio book. Um, it all counts. And so for every 15 days that you read, you're eligible for a prize. So there's going to be more information on this, but I just wanted to let you guys know to look out for that because it's going to be a fantastic new program this year. We're going to have some fun virtual programs, story times, 
craft programs, things like that, that you can all check out on our Facebook page and our Instagram account. I'm going to have more information coming for you probably on Friday. Um, and then, yeah, on Friday because June 1st is right around the corner. My goodness. So hopefully you're excited about that. I know that I am. Thank you so much for joining me today, Miss Ashley, in my story time tent for another mini story time. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye. Thank you.